National Conference Additional General Secretary Mustafa Kamal. He in fact has gone on and insulted the forces. Now he was speaking in context of the Uri and Pulbama terror attacks and he said, I'm quoting him here, Almost clear that it was planned by government of India. We didn't see photographs of bodies until it is clear as to who's the killer. All fingers point towards agencies of government of India. So this is a statement by the National Conference's additional general secretary, Mustafa Kamal. Of course, this is going to be read, uh, read as as insult to the armed forces, considering he's talking about uh, an in context of the Uri and the Pulwama terror attacks. Uh, this is uh, something which has become a recurring thing when it comes to your opposition, attacking the central government uh, on these two terror attacks, specifically questioning the terror attacks uh, as such. Uh, taking this across to my colleague uh, Tijinder, who's joining us on the broadcast. Tijinder, why has he said this? In what context? And what led to a statement that he's made in this regard? Uh, see, uh, the uh, National Conference is uh, known for making such statements. Uh, the uh, leader in question, Dr. Mustafa Kamal, is the younger brother of uh, NC Petron and former Chief Minister Dr. Farooq Abdullah. And these two brothers are known for making such controversial statements when it comes to uh, Pakistan or our armed forces. Now, Mustafa Kamal has raised aspersions on uh, the Uri terror attack. Uh, he has also said that he has not seen pictures. Uh, now, uh, he uh, further went ahead and uh, blamed the uh, central government, uh, the government uh, for carrying out the Pulwama terror attack, whereas uh, several security agencies and investigating agencies have told that the uh, Pulwama terror attack, the Uri terror attack, were planned by Pakistan-based terror outfits. Uh, the Pulwama terror attack in which one jaish e mohammed terror out, uh, outfit operative he carried out the attack. Uh, he he blew his vehicle with uh, that was uh, laden with uh, the explosives, uh, rammed it with uh, the CRPF convoy in which uh, 40 of our brave hearts they lost uh, their life. Uh, the Uri terror attack led to the surgical strike in uh, Pakistan, wherein our security forces they went deep inside Pakistan, the occupied Kashmir, and carried out uh, the attack on uh, the terror training camp there, the Pulwama terror attack, which happened in uh, in 2019, also led to uh, the Balakot airstrike. So mm. now uh, the national conference leaders are raising aspersions, not only on these two terror attacks, but also raising aspersions on the surgical strike carried out by our armed forces, uh, the Balakot airstrike, which was carried out by the Indian Air Force. So a uh, national conference is known for making such controversial statement and as you asked about the backdrop of hmm. why the national conference leaders are making such statements, they are making such statements because they know that elections in Jammu and Kashmir are around the corner. Any time from now, the Election Commission of India would declare elections in Jammu and Kashmir. So they hmm. are raising expressions on uh, the bravery of our security forces just to appease their certain vote bank in uh, the Kashmir Valley. Yes. Also, uh, you know, I was essentially asking you, Tejinder, on, uh, you know, what was the stage where he was making this statement? Uh, if you can get us, uh, our viewers, some perspective vis-a-vis -vis that, uh, there must be some question that was actually uh, raised uh, to him uh, through which he responded, and uh, which is why he has uh, gone ahead and said, in fact, uh, you know, Tejinder, please stay on with us. Kavinder Gupta is also joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Gupta? Statements such as these, once again, questioning the credentials of the Indian Army, their role uh, in going ahead and culling the Uri and Palmama attacks uh, while you are actually gunning for the center. You know, I, I wonder how does it even go down with people who are looking up to the Indian Army for what they are doing when it comes to braving, uh, you know, at the borders? Look, uh, National Conference of the National Conference शुरू से ऐसी रही है सत्ता में जब रहते हैं तो इनकी भाषा कुछ और होती है जब सत्ता से बाहर आते हैं तो इनकी भाषा बदल जाती है तो मुझे लगता है कि ये हमेशा से पाकिस्तान प्रस्त रहे हैं और हमेशा से हुरियत का और दूसरे जमात का सहयोग लेकर के सत्ता में बैठे हुए हैं तो इनसे यही अपेक्षा की जाती है ये पाकिस्तान प्रस्त लोग हैं और खास करके मुझे लगता है कहीं मेंटल दर्द बिगड़ने के कारण से भी ये अपमान है उन लोगों का ये जो सुरक्षा बल है जिन्होंने अपने जान पर खेल करके इस प्रकार के काम किए 
और पाकिस्तान को दोष न दे करके ये अपने लोगों को दोष देते हैं और हमेशा भारत के विरुद्ध की बात करते हैं